Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers, featured in many Native American legends, are individuals with supernatural powers who can assume the form of various animals. According to some legends, these skinwalkers are said to wear an animal skull. Even today, some Americans are reluctant to share information about skinwalkers with outsiders. This reluctance stems from the belief that those who speak about skinwalkers may become their victims. Navajo skinwalker Yi Nandlushi. The Navajo Indians, indigenous people of North America, have vivid legends about skinwalkers. Antini refers to witches in the Navajo language. These individuals act against the culture and strive to gain supernatural powers. This transformation occurs through a dance ceremony used for cursing. Although both males and females can become Antini, males typically engage in polygyny. It is believed that only a childless woman can become a witch, and not every mage is a skinwalker. According to some legends, the process of becoming a magician is called klisiati. To reach this level, one must commit acts like killing a close blood relative, adultery, or other actions contrary to the culture. These actions are believed to strip away humanity, propelling them toward becoming wizards. Skinwalkers often appear in the form of coyotes, wolves, eagles, owls, or cattle, while Yindlushi can take the form of any creature. For example, they might assume the image of a bird for escape or swift movement. Some Navajos also believe that skinwalkers can mimic human faces. When they take on the image of an animal, skinwalkers are said to appear completely white, distinguishing them from real animals. According to Navajo folklore, when the eyes of a skinwalker and a normal human meet, that person will experience terror. The strength and power of skinwalkers allegedly increase based on the level of fear in their victims. Navajo Indians believe that saying skinwalker aloud will attract them. In their normal human form, skinwalkers have long hair and wear an animal skull on their heads. Despite numerous attempts to hunt and kill skinwalkers, such efforts have consistently failed. Skinwalkers employ a type of dust known as corpse dust, made from the bones and cranial bones of twins. It is said that Yein Lushi throws this ash on the faces of victims and places it in the chimneys of their enemies' houses. Inhaling this ash allegedly causes the victim's tongue to swell and turn black, leading to depression and death. According to Navajo Indian folklore, Skinwalkers can only be killed by shooting them in the neck with ash-laced bullets or by stabbing them in the neck with an ash-laced knife. Additionally, to identify a skinwalker, one must say the suspect's name three times. After three days, if the person is a true skinwalker, they will fall ill and die. 